so finally, let us come to computing the inverse. Uh, so, Gaussian elimination can also help you in computing the inverse. How is this? Well, let us recall what we did in computing the inverse, right. So, the inverse what what is the inverse of a matrix? It is a matrix A in B such that A times B is identity and B times A is identity. If I can arrange that A times B is, B is identity, it kind of forces that B times A is identity, ok. So, I just have to get a matrix B so that A times B is identity, ok. But how do I get A times B is identity? So, uh, let us do it for the 3 by 3 case. So, suppose um, uh, A is a 3 by 3 matrix. So, then to say A times B is identity is the same as saying that A times the first column of B is uh, 1 0 0, A times the second column of B is 0 1 0 and A times the third column of B is 0 0 1. So, suppose I have solutions for a x equals 1 0 0, a y equals 0 1 0 and a z equals 0 0 1. Okay? So, suppose those solutions are given by x prime, y prime and z prime respectively. So, then I make my matrix x prime, y prime and z prime. Remember x prime, y prime, z prime are columns. So, this gives me a 3 by 3 matrix and now when I multiply this a on the left, what do I get? I get a x prime a y prime uh, uh, a z prime, but uh, these are solutions to a x is 1 0 0, a y is 0 1 0 and a z is 0 0 1. So, this is exactly 1 0 0, this is exactly 0 1 0 and this is exactly 0 0 1 which is exactly the identity matrix. Okay. So, if I solve this, if I solve these three equations, I can find a matrix B so that A times B is identity and uh, that will say that uh, B is the inverse of A. Uh, conversely, if I know A times B is identity, then you can take the first column of B that will be a solution of A x is 1 0 0, the second column of B that will be a solution of A y is 0 1 0 and the third column of uh, B and that will be a solution of A z equals 0 1 0, 0 0 1. Okay. So, what is the procedure? So, well you can already see that finding solutions is exactly what Gaussian elimination does for us. So, I can find this, but um, I want to show you the algorithm for doing this uh, which some of you may have seen before. So, what you do is instead of, so I want to find the solution of let us say A and 1 0 0, right. So, the, I write it like this and then I want to find the solution of A and 0 0 1. So, I also write that sorry 0 1 0. So, I write it like this and also of 0 0 1. So, I write it like this. So, instead of taking one column at a time, I take all three columns together and because the procedure is the same, right? I have to apply the elementary row operations which I am going to use to reduce A to the uh, reduced to echelon form. And um, so, so, I take these all three and I put it like this. So, in other words what I do is I take a much bigger augmented matrix, I take A and I augment all these three columns. So, 1 0 0, 0 1 0 and 0 0 1. So, I essentially put A and I beside each other, then I reduce. So, rho, rho, uh, so I, I let me say re reduction to Rho H, reduced to echelon form ok and if I do this and I know that A is invertible, well if A is invertible then uh, the reduced to echelon form of A must be I. And then whatever you get over here, that is exactly A inverse. Okay, that's the procedure. Okay, let me maybe do a very fast uh, example. Uh, so maybe my uh, matrix here is. Uh, so let's see, one, 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 uh, two, uh, four, eight, and uh, three, nine, uh, twenty-seven. 
okay, let us reduce this to uh, reduce to epsilon form probably this is not going to give me a very good uh, inverse, but let me do it anyway. So, how do I do this? So, for the first column I, I have a 1 already. So, I do r 2 minus 2 r 1 r 3 minus uh, ah, and I have of course, I have to augment the uh, identity matrix sorry. So, before I do this I have to augment the identity matrix. So, let us do that. So, I reduce this. So, r 2 minus 2 r 1 r 3 minus 3 r 1. Okay, what do I get? Uh, so, I get 1 1 1 and then uh, 2 sorry 0 2 6 and then 0 6 24 and then over here I get uh, 1 minus 2 minus 3 and then 0 1 0 and then 0 0 1 okay. and I, I continue this procedure. So, now I do R 2 by 2. So, what do I get? So, 1 1 1 0 1 3 uh, 0 6 24 uh, 1 0 0 minus 1 half 0 minus 3 0 1. Okay. I use my 1 to uh, make uh, make the 6 entry 0. So, that is r 3 minus 6 r 2. So, 1 1 1 0 1 3 uh, 0 0 uh, so, 24 minus 18 is 6. Okay, so, 1 0 0 uh, minus 1 half 0 and then R 3. So, minus 3 minus 6 times minus 1. So, R 3 plus 6 that is 3 and then 0 minus 6 times half which is uh, uh, minus 3 and then um, just a 1. Okay. I, I hope you understand what is happening. So, I want to reduce this further. So, I will do R 3 by 6. I am probably not optimized my space well uh, nevertheless. So, I have 1 1 1 0 1 3 0 0 1 uh, 1 0 0 minus 1 half 0 half minus half Okay. And then I, so this is already in rho echelon form and maybe there is two more steps and you will get it into uh, reduced rho echelon form and uh, whatever matrix you have on the right hand side that 3 by 3 matrix that will be the, in the inverse of the original matrix. So, I hope the process is clear. So, depending on the idea what Sad has discussed till now. Uh, so, we will take an example of a matrix and try to calculate the inverse of a matrix using uh, Gaussian elimination or using row operation. So, let us take an example. Let us take this matrix 2, 4, 6, minus 1, 3, minus 3, 0, 4, 2. Let us consider this matrix and try to find its inverse. So, this is our A matrix. Question is to find A inverse. So, we start with this matrix 2, 4, 6, minus 1, 3, minus 3, 0, 4, 2 and in the other side we are taking identity matrix which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 and we are doing row and column operation and we will try to make this side as identity matrix then whatever the matrix will be on this side, this frequency that will be our inverse. So, to begin with, at first uh, there is 2 in the first element as the first row and first column. So, we have to multiply with half. So, half of R1 that will give us 1, 
टू थ्री हाफ जीरो जीरो दिस इज माइनस वन थ्री माइनस थ्री जीरो वन जीरो दिस रोज विल रिमेन अनचेंज एंड दिस इज जीरो जीरो वन सो दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन दिस इज वाट वी गेट आफ्टर द फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन सो नाउ वी जस्ट वी वॉन्ट टू मेक दिस वन एज जीरो सो वी एड आर वन टू आर टू सो वील गेट वन टू थ्री हाफ जीरो जीरो दैट इज द फर्स्ट रो दैट विल रिमेन अनचेंज एंड इन द सेकेंड रो वील गेट जीरो थ्री प्लस टू इट विल बी फाइव माइनस थ्री प्लस थ्री दैट विल बी जीरो दिस विल बी हाफ वन जीरो and the third row will remain unchanged so our first row first column is complete this is 1 0 now what we have to do we have to make this one as 1 so we will do 1 by 5 of r2 so that will give us 1 2 3 1 2 3 0 0 0 1 0 0 This will be one by ten. This will be one by five. Zero, zero, four, two, zero, zero, one. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have to make this and this to be zero. So to make this four to be zero, we have to do r three minus four r two. Then we will get this one as zero. So let us write it: one, two, three, half zero zero, zero one zero. This first two rows will remain unchanged, and the third row will be changed to zero zero. This is two. Now we are making four into R two, so it will be four by ten. So it is minus four by ten. It is four uh, by five. So it will be minus four by five and one. And to make this one as zero, we have to do r one minus two r two. So what we have got here? So we will get one zero three and half minus two by ten. That is basically three by ten. And this is minus two by five zero. Zero one zero and this two row will be unchanged. Okay. So now what we have to do here we have two in the third row and third column. So we have to make it one. So basically we will do half into R three. So that will give us the first. Two rows will remain unchanged. And here we get is two by ten and uh, minus four by ten half. Now we have to make this one to be zero. So this is the last step basically. Then we will get the identity matrix. So Identity matrix in this side, so we'll we have to uh, do R one minus three R three, so it will give us one zero zero three by ten minus three R three that is six uh, by ten, and here minus two by five plus twelve by ten. Zero, sorry, not zero. Uh, zero plus uh, minus three by two. This is minus three by two, and the remaining two rows will remain unchanged. So this is the matrix. So let us calculate this thing. So this will give us nine by ten. So This will give us twelve by ten minus two by five. That is 
10 12 minus 5 2 4 so it is 8 by 10 so this will give us 8 by 10 and this is minus 3 by 2 so the inverse so in this side we have identity matrix of order 3 and this is the 3 cross 3 matrix which is our A inverse so this is 9 by 10 8 by 10 is basically 4 by 5 minus 3 by 2 1 by 10 1 by 5 0 uh, minus 1 by 5 minus 2 by 5 half so this is our inverse so you can check that a inverse is equal to identity equal to a inverse a thank you